So how was your evening then today? Um, it was good. I mean, it took a long time for these awards to start. Yeah. Like we really overplayed that dinner hand, but uh, once it got going, it's going really well. What was your highlight of the night? Um, Sharuk gave me a kiss on the cheek. And then he gave me a shout out on the stage, and I was like, "All right." Did you Instagram it? <laughs> Not yet. I have the picture in my phone. I took a selfie with him. Uh, some of us, some of us are lucky. Yeah. Um, what do you think is? Why do you think it's most? It's really important to have events like this dedicated to the Pan Asian community, and for comedians like yourself. Well, I think uh, you know, for uh, for the South Asian community, we. You know, if we don't celebrate ourselves, and put it this way, India is not going to celebrate us because they don't need us. They already have enough people there that they're dealing with. They don't need the ex, the uh, the NRIs to come back and try and reclaim their glory. They're like, you left, deal with it. So it's our way of uh, celebrating ourselves because you know the British media is not really going to. They're not going to celebrate a bunch of us. They'll celebrate one at a time. And if you, if you had a message for Paul Sagu, who the one who created this event, what would you say to him? Paul, your outfits are horrendous. Please, please don't wear those things anymore. You have the ugliest shoes on and you look like a giant Indian bumblebee. I love you as a friend. I'm telling you, people are laughing.